everybody, Otelia Cassidy here from Madison Eats. I harvested some garlic this summer from my garden, and I'm going to test out today what is the best way to get the clove off of the head of garlic and the skin off of the clove. Now there's three different ways I'm going to test today. Two have, are just using regular items I already have around the house, these stainless steel bowls, and of course a knife and a cutting board. The third way is with a gadget that I just picked up recently. I don't know the answer myself, but I'm going to have fun trying this out. So the first method is taking the entire head of garlic, dirt still on the roots, all intact, putting it in a stainless steel bowl. Then you take another stainless steel bowl, you cover it up, and this is where it gets kind of loud. You might want to put some earplugs on or some headphones, noise blocking headphones. In fact, I'm going to go do that right now. I'm back. All right, ready? Stuff is flying out. Let's see. We have. I'm going to take these off. Look at this. The head is broken up and each clove is already peeled for me. Looks like it might need a little rinsing, but I'd say this one worked pretty well, even if it was a little bit loud. The second method I have does not require these headphones, Whoops! and in fact, just uses the knife. I'm going to press this clove of garlic that still has its skin on, using the flat end of my knife, and press down. Now, what I like about this method is that not only does the skin become loosened, and I can peel that right off, but also then the garlic is kind of flat and smashed and ready to cut up with your knife and dice and put in whatever uh, recipe that you're using. So that is the second method. Now this would require obviously taking each clove off of the head. The third method I have is using this new gadget, a garlic roller. The same, another he a clove of garlic in here with the skin on, in this, and then, hmm, in a matter of a minute, I thought the skin was removed because I heard it crackling, but in fact, half of it is still stuck on the other side. Let me give it another roll. In this case, um, the skin came off nicely off of half of the garlic clove, but the other half it's still kind of stuck on there, and I have to peel it off. Not a big deal, but also I'm not really sure if that gadget was worth it. So I guess to sum up, what I would say is to get the cloves of garlic off of the head, that stainless steel bowl tricks works miracles, and the skin comes off of each clove at the same time. It is a little bit loud. Maybe an outdoor job for your kids perhaps. I like the knife pressing method otherwise, just to get the skin off of each clove, and then it's ready to dice and throw into your meal. The gadget, well, it seems like a good idea, but for me, it didn't seem like the best option. What do you think? Do you have any tricks for getting the garlic off of the head or the skin off of each uh, clove? Let me know. Have a great day.